So, in this episode, we're going to make pasta carbonara. Very nice, very simple. I've got the water boiling away on the 747, so we're just about ready to add the pasta. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of salt to the boiling water, to, and that will, that will lift the temperature. Don't add olive oil, never add olive oil, because the olive oil will stick to the, um, the pasta, uh, and then that means that the sauce that you make will never stick to the pasta because there's a layer of oil on it, so never, never. Okay, so here's, here's a quick tip for when you're opening up um, a, 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 um, a packet of pasta. Just give it a bang. <laughs> then, into the, into the water. We want to cook it until it's al dente, so it's going to have to go for about 10 or 12 minutes. And then it should be beautiful. In the meantime, we're going to make the sauce. To make the sauce, put a fry pan on, but put it on a low heat because we're going to, we're going to, I couldn't get pan so I've got salt or pork, so that's okay. But what we need to do is cook that really, really slowly because you want fat to render down. So we'll bang on the 747. I got two 747s, so it's like they're flying in formation. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some oil, some olive oil, some pancetta, the garlic, and then I'm going to actually add some chili flakes because I like it a little bit spicy, so that's up to you. Just give it a bit of a stir and let it take a time to render down the fat. So, in the meantime, whilst the um, pus is cooking, the, um, the pancetta or your, your salted pork is, is frying away, we're going to prepare the eggs. And all you need to do is just crack two eggs into a, into a um, into a pan and then add the Reggiano Parmesan and just mix it together. So once the pasta is cooked, just give it a strain. Once she's done, just turn her out onto your serving plate. Then you add your ham. And as soon as that's done, quickly add your eggs and mix through. And what's going to happen is that the egg goes going to give that nice velvety sheen and the parmesan is going to melt and go through it all. Beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. I've got some leftover parsley flakes, so I'm just going to chuck them in there for a little, little bit of colour. And we're done. Delicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, add some uh, comments below. And uh, I promise you I will uh, respond to all the comments listed below. And I'm living proof there is life after oral cancer. G'day.